In this video, I'm gonna talk about the surprising benefits that ginkgo biloba can benefit for your brain. Hi, I'm Dr. Legrand, and let's talk about the very first one. Now, people don't realize that ginkgo biloba actually helps increase blood flow and circulation to the brain, and that is very critical when it comes to a brain health because the brain requires oxygen and nutrients to the brain, and that's what ginkgo biloba does provide. Studies have shown that ginkgo biloba does not only increase blood flow to the brain, but does this by dilating the blood vessels that go to the brain, as well as reducing the thickness of the blood so it has good circulation to the brain. Another great benefit of ginkgo biloba is it is a great antioxidant. Research has shown, a lot of studies have shown that not only does it prove to be a great antioxidant, antioxidants are a great source for protecting our brain, especially from free radicals. We see that free radicals can definitely age our brain and damage a lot of parts of our cells, especially our brain. So ginkgo biloba has proven and shown that it does help protect the brain from free radicals which then of course contribute to protecting from cognitive decline and aging of the brain. Giga Biloba has also shown and proven that it does help with memory and also cognitive function. They have found this in benefit for both young and also elderly people when they use something like Giga Biloba. It also has been found that it does help improve cognitive function, especially in people who have dementia and Alzheimer's disease. Another great thing about Giga Biloba is it does have neuroprotective effects. So what does this mean? So when you consider a lot of different brain injuries, such as stroke or just traumatic brain injuries, that has been found that it can be effective of using something in Gobloba. Phytotherapy research, they found in animals that had traumatic brain injuries, they gave them ginkgo biloba and they found that there was a quicker recovery and reduced brain damage. Ginkgo biloba has also shown that it can help with anxiety and depression. Another study produced by the Journal of Clinical Psychopharmacology that ginkgo biloba extract improved the symptoms of depression in people who had severe depression disorder. If you're finding benefits in today's video, then go ahead and subscribe, hit the bell notification so you can learn more ways about improving and optimizing your brain. Now, when it comes to attention and focus, ginkgo biloba has also been found in some research studies that it does help with people with ADHD. In fact, they have found it actually be helpful with adults. In fact, myself included, ginkgo biloba is one of my favorite ones that I use for ADHD and with a lot of my patients and clients and definitely can help with that focus and memory and inattentiveness. Another way that ginkgo biloba can help that we've seen that there's a potential possibility that where it can help with age-related cognitive decline. But there was a study published by the Journal of American Medical Association that they found that ginkgo biloba did improve cognitive function with people that had issues with cognitive decline. Another great way that also ginkgo biloba can help is with mental fatigue. So people think of physical fatigue, but also people with HD can experience this a lot and other people that have other also mental health issues can find that they have mental fatigue, meaning they cannot have that clarity of mind, can have focus or concentration throughout the day. So they reach this mental fatigue situation. But ginkgo biloba has proven in some studies where it does help improve that continuation of having that mental clarity and focus throughout the day. And this is where they found in some of the research. There's a meta-analysis study done by the Journal of Phytomedicine found that ginkgo biloba could also help with not only short-term memory, but long-term memory, especially in people that were elderly. They found that by just using ginkgo biloba extract that they found that not only did it improve definitely with the short-term and long-term memory, but it also helped with task switching. So a lot of different other cognitive function abilities that people who, when they get older, find that this can be a challenge for them. Now, when it comes to migraines, definitely we hate migraines and this can definitely impact our focus and our capacity to be able to even work throughout the day. But what they found with ginkgo biloba in one study that was published by the Journal of Clinical Pharmacy and Therapeutics, that they found that not only did ginkgo biloba help reduce a lot of the migraines, but also from preventing a lot of the migraines. Now, the theory behind this is because, like I talked about before, is ginkgo biloba increases blood flow to the brain, helps with circulation, so therefore it is providing more oxygen to the brain and can prevent a lot of these migraines and headaches. Now, like I said before, one of the great benefits of ginkgo biloba is definitely certainly helping with ADHD. And if you want to find out more benefits of how ginkgo biloba can help with your ADHD, then watch this video next, where I dive more in deep about that. And so watch this video next. 